I don't even know where to begin a video like this. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be posting this. But um, what I do know is that I need to express this verbally. I need to talk about this for myself to be able to let this go and to be able to move on and to be able to um, heal fully. The last month, maybe two months, I have not been okay at all. Um, when I was going across the Nullarbor, um, basically it was a very challenging trip, um, not just because, you know, it's like the middle of nowhere, but because my mental health absolutely deteriorated, <laughs> like, and it, it shocked me, it shook me to my fucking core because I went on this trip to have, you know, an adventure of a lifetime and I get in the middle of it and I'm suicidal and I've never felt worse in my life. It almost felt like my whole world that I built as I knew it was kind of crumbling at my feet and I was seeing everything that I knew sort of fade away and it made me really think and question myself, question my intentions, question who I was, question everything and I was so filled with self-doubt because I haven't experienced really severe mental health since I was like 14 and even then it was spanned out over a few months and then like all of a sudden I'm <laughs> like literally every single day it was a hell you know like I just I felt so I either felt so pained or I felt numb and like it just really scared me feeling that way because I know myself to be you know someone who is always looking on the bright side is always filled with a childlike joy and a genuine trust and optimism in the goodness of the earth and I don't know, to be kind of like put through that was just like it was really it was really bizarre coming from someone who normally has like, you know, her head screwed on. Um and then like I drank water from a waterfall and it's really funny because I always say guy heals, you know, and this is just like to me like the actual like embodiment of that. <laughs> um so yeah, I drank water from this waterfall and I got the flu and then I got gastro um, all while I was already feeling, um, I guess, depressed and it all piled up onto one day and I was sitting in some random person's bedroom in, in Melbourne and I just didn't want to live anymore. I... I just knew something had to change and I didn't know what but... It felt like Everything, every minuscule thing that I had suffered for like four years had been, you know, brewing inside of me and it all came out at once.
all of it like an explosion of just like pain of karmic proportions and sorry I need to blow my nose I'm a bit sick and um I've never felt more lost or alone in my entire life on top of that a few days after that, the friend that I was travelling with and I, we had a um, massive falling out and a lot of other stuff happened, like I, the friend that I met over there, she did Reiki healing on me for my heart chakra and um, as that was happening, like she moved her hands like over here towards my back and I just felt so afraid of her, like so afraid. I've never been more like, well I have been more scared in my life, but like that, I was just scared of someone that I trusted and knew. And then I felt heartbroken again, and then I felt lost and sad, and then at the end I was just filled with like pure unbridled joy. And I was feeling so good, and it felt so good to be feeling good, because it felt like I hadn't actually felt good in like months. And then... After that I had the falling out with my friend and it just like, like it, 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 it was fucking awful timing. <laughs> and like, um, yeah, I got back to Perth and um, like, it's, it's strange. I think I'm just kind of like at this point where I'm questioning everything that I'm doing. I've just wanted to like throw my phone into the ocean these past few days. Like I just want to become a hermit. I just want to go and like feel connected and be who I know I truly am. You know, and go and live in nature or live with people who understand me because you know my whole life kind of like no one has ever really understood me and I feel like I've spent a lifetime trying to find the words to translate my soul but you know there's none for for it and when I got back to Perth it was like it was like I'd either be like really happy and be my back to myself and I'd think oh okay like Maybe it was all just some weird kind of like healing pattern and I just like feel so happy and normal and back to myself. And then about half an hour after that I couldn't, couldn't move, I couldn't get out of my bed, I couldn't feel anything, I was completely numb. I was completely shattered as a person. And I just, I don't think I've ever felt more lost in my entire life right uh, right now than I do right now because I mean like Instagram and YouTube is my only job it's my only form of income and like I'm struggling to pay rent and on top of that I have all this happening I feel like I've just outgrown this world of mine I feel like where I am right now I've been here in Perth for so long and Perth doesn't hold what I need. I will talk about it to my friends here and they'll try their best to understand but they don't know unless they've been through that experience. They can only, you know, see me as far as they've seen themselves. And I think as well, um, the one, the one person that I had in my life who kind of grounded me and I was able to talk to you about that stuff because he understood he's someone that I'm, is no longer in my life and I know that they're no longer in my life for a reason. I've been told karmically that my soul, you know, for many lives and ancestrally, we have not been able to like let go of people. Um, so I know that that's why I'm struggling with this, but I'm getting there. 
And no, it's just it's just hard when it's like literally like this person was the most important person in my life. Even when we'd stopped like being as close, even when I only saw them like one or two days a week or something. Like I just I cannot express to you guys how much this person helped me grow into the person that I am today. They helped me get over my trauma. They helped me learn to trust other people and trust myself. And it's difficult after being around a person like that for so long to step out into the world on your own and to learn those, you know, learn those lessons yourself because I am on this path of healing and healing sometimes means going through a lot of pain and I'm going through a lot of pain and that's okay <laughs> because I know that I'm experiencing all this for a reason I've learned to trust in the universe in that aspect but it still doesn't mean I'm filled with hope every day it still doesn't mean that I'm filled with joy every day it means that I am unlearning all of the pain and past trauma that I had learned that had shaped me into the negative aspects of who I am. I'm unlearning all that and I'm relearning how to live without that. And it's tricky because in order to learn a lesson karmically, you have to experience it again. And I've come to learn that. and. Fuck, it's tricky, guys. Fuck. <laughs>